Hi guys, it's Erin from Ginger's Florals and Winston. Uh, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how we plant uh, 400 lily bulbs. Uh, we obviously, because we have a flower farm, we plant in bulk. So I'll give you the steps on how to plant it in your own garden along with how we do it here. So I'm just gonna flip this around. This is the back side of our greenhouse. It's actually on the south side. Um, you probably saw the short video already. Uh, John ended up, we, this used to be storage, basically. We had pallets of pots and all kinds of other stuff Hi back guys, here. Hi guys, it's Erin from Ginger's Florals and the dogs down there. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to plant 400 lilies. So I want to walk you through how you would do it in a normal garden setting versus how we're going to do it because it's a flower farm. We have 400, I'll show you real quick, of these beautiful lily monado, monado however you say it, uh, bulbs. They're a really pretty pink color. I'll put a picture up on the screen. But these, we, these are these have been chilling uh frozen uh all throughout this winter and then they just showed up a couple days ago so you probably saw in the video earlier we john uh this is the back side of the greenhouse this used to be all storage we had pallets of pots and weed block and all kinds of stuff but john he's so nice to me uh, we, I cleared this out and moved all the, all of this stuff either to the dump or to the new, uh, barn shed that he built. And then he came in and he tilled up this area back here. Cause this is the south side. It gets sun all day long. Uh, so he tilled it up, dumped a couple of bucket loads of compost back here, mushroom compost. And then I raked that out and dug some, some trenches, basically. I used this tool. This is my favorite. If you watch the ranunculus, how we plant ranunculus videos, um, this is what I use to get my lines. Now, let's talk through, let's talk through how you, in your garden, would want to plant your lilies. So generally, lilies like this, this, you can see on the bottom here this is where the roots go so obviously this goes up this goes down and you want to plant them between four and six inches uh, lilies when they grow they will sprout roots out of the stem wherever they're underground you don't want to plant them too deep or they won't have tall stems but uh, four to six inches i'll probably do around six inches is the best so you also especially if they're gonna go in a place that you just wanna let them go for years, you, you wanna plant them between nine and 12 inches apart because these lilies, these bulbs will multiply. Uh, year over year, they just, they, they, they put out new babies and they'll just, just grow and grow and grow. Even if you plant them 12 inches apart, after five or six years, you may need to dig them and divide them. Otherwise, they'll start to get kind of sickly and um, they won't do quite as well uh, after a few years. But generally, lilies are pretty healthy and they don't take a whole lot of effort. Just put them in the ground, um, like I said, six inches deep, four to six inches deep, and then a foot apart. And then you're good. But me, because I have this space here, and this is only, it's probably, oh, I don't know, close to 15 feet, 15 feet long and four or so feet wide. I have five, five trenches dug. And if I can, I'm going for as close to 75 bulbs in each row as I can. I may end up with some extras, which... Is okay with me that just means I can put them I can drill holes and put them out in the other gardens uh, this this will be a permanent planting for me and then hopefully every spring uh, oh excuse me June ish uh, these will 
grow and bloom and I'll have lots of cut flowers. You can, you can force lilies um, earlier if you pot them up, if you get them early in the season, you can pot them up and put them in some a place warm like a uh, greenhouse or whatever and they will they'll bloom early but and you can take those after they've bloomed and you could take the the potted plant and put it out in your garden however just be warned that if you plant a whole bunch of forest bulbs early the next year because you wanted staggered blooms the next year they're all going to bloom at the same time so if you're like me and you want hundreds and hundreds of lilies blooming at the same time go for it if you don't just be wary they they won't be able to force or they won't be able to bloom staggered if they're just outside they'll just bloom at their natural time which the same variety will likely bloom just about the same time all the way through Okay, I'm just gonna set up a camera. Well, let me show you this. So, like I said, this, this lily, it's, this is the top, these are the roots, and I'm just going to get down there six inches-ish, put it down in the hole, and then bury it over. And I'm gonna plant mine probably uh, at max four inches apart and we'll see what's the math on that so 15 feet four inches apart three 45 I'm not gonna get all the way through my 400 lilies but like I said that's okay I'll plant the rest elsewhere okay I'm gonna set up a camera and just take you along with it's it's a pretty simple process but I wanted to show you and talk through the differences and how I as a flower farmer are going to grow them versus how you in your garden would likely want to grow them. Okay, come along. And there she is. It doesn't look like much, obviously, right now, but just you wait. The next couple of months, five rows of lilies are gonna start popping up. Now, I do have probably another 100 or so lilies in here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put them just yet, but I'll find a spot. There's lots and lots of area that I can put them in and have them pop up and just bloom wherever they are. They're, these are, these ones in particular are an Asiatic lily. Um, some people have a hard time with the Orientals because they are incredibly uh, strongly scented, but these, these ones don't have any scent. Just, they're just grown for the color and I'm, yeah, I'm pretty excited. This this weekend, I I will get a whole lot done, 
hopefully, uh, barring anything crazy happening, because it's going to be, you know, blue sky, sunny, almost 70 uh, all weekend long. So we're taking advantage. I'm going to show you real quick, because John's out here back and forth uh, moving. We got 15 yards of compost in, plus we probably already still had another 10 yards uh, out back. But he's got most of it moved now. It's pretty stinking exciting. Here, I'll turn you around. That's all fresh compost on top of the field. Ah, <laughs> it's, this is the best. This, this makes me so happy. Uh, this time of year, it's the, the promise of spring. There's uh, so much so much beauty to come in the near future that it's so exciting uh okay so that's gonna be it for this video again real quick recap uh lily bulbs you want to plant them pointy side up roots down uh, between four and six inches deep and if you plant them in your garden you're gonna want to give them room about 12 inches in between uh, that way they can multiply and get bigger and bigger um, I planted these ones between two and four inches apart, uh, and the rows were about six or nine inches apart. And so I got, oh, probably, probably close to 300 of them in there. And yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. This, I have, this whole patch here is pink. I have a patch similar to that that's a really deep, beautiful red. Um, and then I have another patch that has some orange and pink. So, yeah, this this June should be really beautiful. I love lilies. They're absolutely one of my favorites. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something, uh, possibly. If you liked it, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.